If you go walking down a country lane at this time of the year, you will see blackberries. Lots of blackberries. If you look closely enough. Seeing them immediately makes me think of food. In this case, I'm thinking blackberry and apple pie. You only need a handful of blackberries. Unsalted butter, apples and sugar. I measure out for one pie eight ounces of flour, half of that in unsalted butter, which I then mix together. First cutting the butter into small thin strips. You can use a machine or wire blender to break down the fat and even to do um, the work for you, but I prefer to use a knife and my hand. I just love the feel of it. Turning it into crumbs underneath my fingers and dampening it. You can again a knife, just simply allow the water to cling onto the flour, stir it in, not too hard. And before you know it, you have pastry. Then it's only a matter of putting it onto a floured surface and cutting it in half. Remember, you need a top and a bottom for a pie. So just cut it in half. A little bit more maybe for the top than for the bottom, but it's roughly 50-50. Shape the pastry into a circle. You can do this by hand, especially if you have a hand like mine. And then, out with a rotor pin. I have a ceramic rotor pin, and I have a cold marble surface worktop, so it makes things very easy for me. The trick with pastry is not letting it get too hot. If it starts to stick, flour the surface. It's very simple. Test it then with a plate, see how you're doing, keep on rolling until you've got enough pastry to cover the pie tin. Using the roller pin, you can actually manipulate the pastry safely onto the plate. Uh, this tin, it's, just a, it, it's got a shape around the edge, so you press it down just to make sure it follows the shape. Trim off the excess. You can turn on the oven at this stage up to 180. Let it warm up and prepare the fruit while you're waiting. A paring knife, an apple core are very useful. Uh, unless, of course, you um, have an apple that's shaped like this, which would require a knife. Peel the apple and then core it. I'm using the knife here. And um, you can see the fruit is actually beautiful. Normally I get two apples um, because sometimes you have a damaged apple. So it's, it's always useful to have just slightly more fruit than you need. Then chop into thin slices. <clears throat> Add sugar to taste. And then I put a, a layer around the sides so that I have sort of a saucer really for the blackberries to go into. Then cover the blackberries so they don't stick directly onto the pastry. Moisten down the edges. Put your pastry, top layer of pastry on. Press it down so that it's following the lower pastry. Strim off the extra pastry and then just press it together so that they stick and that you won't have juices slipping out the edges. You're also going to need vent holes to allow out the steam and then you're ready for the oven. I put it on top shelf. Give it 35 minutes and off we go. Just wait and out it comes steaming fresh ready for just a bit of caster sugar for decoration on the top and it's time to eat. As you can see the berries are still intact, the pastry crumbly and you have a taste of autumn. Mm -hmm.